Nearly two years ago, um, I lost all four limbs as a result of sepsis, as a complication of a kidney stone that I had. And uh, two years ago, amputations began, and that's when everything changed. And I had to begin looking for another advantage in life, which would be prosthetics, and wondering how my quality of life was going to be different as a result of the sepsis and the amputations. The most challenging part of my condition was that I had to deal with not only lower limb prosthetics, but up, upper limb prosthetics, and then searching to find the best person for that job. Um, I believe the upper limb prosthetics are so important because they sort of control everything that you do. I was able to learn to walk and find a great um, prosthetic person that would help me with my legs. Okay, like and right then now, as I started to look for hands, I realized there weren't many people who had actually done upper limb prosthetics, especially myoelectric or hands that were able to function other than the passive hands that were cosmetically wonderful, but limited on what they could help me do. And I searched and searched until I find you know, found what I thought was the best spot for me at Advanced Arm Dynamics. And I realized when I got here that having someone who specializes in this, who knows the ins and outs of what works, what might not work, and how can we make it better for you has been awesome. I feel like I'm with family when I arrive every time. I've spent five days one time on my first visit and each morning I walked in with the best attitude because I knew I was gonna have a great day. I knew that everybody here was focused on me and my care and I just felt like I was with family and that they were as supportive as the family I have at home. Anytime I've had an issue, a problem or a question, they have jumped to respond. I really believe that everyone here is excited about what they do. They are passionate about what they do. And from the minute you start to talk to them, you feel like, wow, these people are really, really experts at what they do, but at the same time, compassionate and show empathy towards everything I'm going through. And they will not stop until they get me where I need to be. I've just received my new myoelectric hands and I'm so ecstatic. Um, I've been working for about two hours with the occupational therapist and she's helping me figure out how to do everyday tasks and things in my office that I would need to do as a principal and learning to do things in a new way. My next phase involves covering them with a silicone cosmetic glove, which will make these hands look more realistic, more lifelike. So I'm very excited to get these new hands. They're making my world a whole lot better. The um, most important thing that I believe I'm able to do now is to actually go back full time as an educator and to run a school of 650 kids, 100 plus employees, and actually do a phenomenal job. And I do believe that I make a difference every day and I'm being told that every day, so it's a rewarding experience. But doing all those things on that job, which is supervising teachers and students and interacting with my kids, leading meetings and going to in services and visiting places that I didn't think I would ever be able to return to, those are the most important things about getting lots of my life back. I never ever experience any form of depression or any um, sorrow about what I've been through. I, um, early on, as soon as I knew amputations were the next step, I dealt with that in um, a, a most phenomenal way and I could not believe I had, like I said, that strength inside of me to figure out that I needed to be okay with it all. People were watching me, others were counting on me, and my reaction was very important to everyone around me. My life has a purpose. I'm going to live life on purpose now and make sure that I am a model to others of pushing forward, doing what you need to do, and making sure that you make every moment, every day count. That's why I believe I'm here to show others what life can be about no matter what you've been through.